Hi, I'm David from Rackom and today I have a slightly different video for you. I'm sure you know the satisfying feeling of opening a new gadget, of finding the much-awaited package in the mail and opening the box for a very first time. Well, we decided to show you what to expect when you receive your first Ripex unit and share that magical first opening moment with you. Ripex is our flagship radio modem with super performance, a full-featured Linux router and with great connectivity and flexibility. If you're not familiar with it, please check out our website or technical presentation video linked in the upper right corner. Let's dive right in. Ripex comes in a recycled paper box. The box itself is a wealth of information. The top and front sides tell you what is in the box, make it simple to recognize the radio in a crowded storage room. The bottom side contains quick setup instructions which tell you how to get the unit up and running in no time. More detailed quick start documentation can be found by scanning the QR code in the bottom left corner. The figure on the right hand side here shows how to connect to the unit once it is powered up. You can either connect directly using static IP address and simply plug in an Ethernet cable into one of the ports. Or, and we would recommend this option, you can buy an optional USB to Wi-Fi or USB to Ethernet adapter from Racom and simply connect through it using automatic IP delivered by DHCP. The default username and password is always admin and admin as stated here on the box. If you're interested, please have a look at our power-up tutorial video and other tutorials published on our YouTube channel. The left side lists contents and storage environment requirements. A product sticker can be found on the right side of the box. It lists technical details, warnings and certifications. The first column lists unit type, ordering code. You can also see work in frequency range, maximum RF power and power supply specification. Below this you find certification ID for US FCC and Canadian ISED. Declaration of conformity for EU states is marked by the CE icon in the next column. More country-specific certifications are not printed on the tag, however they can be provided on request. The second column contains the device's serial number and our address and website. You can get to our detailed documentation by scanning the provided QR code. The right side of the tag declares compliance with EU Radio Equipment Directive 2014-53. By scanning the second QR code, you can visit a web page explaining everything regarding safety, environment and licensing. On the rear side of the box, you will find basic highlights of flagship products of all three of our product lines. Please feel free to check the details on our web page or YouTube channel. And now we finally got to the big moment. While opening the box, one extra bit of information actually pops out. Recommended mounting schematics. Please read carefully before installing the unit. Now, there is nothing preventing us from opening to reveal the unit itself. We use paper spacers here to make sure the unit is secured and not damaged during transit. Putting that aside, we can get to the unit itself. Isn't it beautiful? Rocket construction, Ferrari red, and surprisingly heavy thanks to its solid cast aluminium chassis. The box is almost empty now, only containing a DIN mounting kit and a little thank you from us. The top side of the unit itself is used as a passive heatsink and also features a removable sticker plate. This plate is supposed to be used for your notes, e.g. the right IP address of the unit. When powered up, 
The LEDs show system status at a glance. The bottom side contains DIN rail mounting points, as well as a product label. The product label is similar to the one on the box containing the same information with an exception of RED directive info. The four holes here are for the DIN clips included in the shipment, as shown here on the box. We recommend mounting the unit horizontally for optimal function of the passive cooling ribs. You simply mount both clips into recesses in the chassis. It is also possible to use the other two mounting points for vertical position. With the clip secured, you simply click the unit onto the ribbed in rail as you would with any other device. The front side is obviously the most interesting. It features cap protected antenna connectors, power connector together with control inputs and outputs, digital inputs and outputs, a USB port used for management via USB to Ethernet and USB to Wi-Fi adapters, SFP port for either optical fiber or metallic Ethernet, four metallic Ethernet ports supporting up to a gigabit Ethernet, an auxiliary antenna port and serial port, which supports both RS-232 and RS-485. The little hole next to this is the physical reset button. We don't label it, since you will most likely never need it. The power connector plug is installed in power connector socket. Ripex is a fine example of expert manufacturing design by Czech engineers in Visočina Highlands. It is a hefty piece of electronics inspiring confidence that the unit will operate for years, which is well-placed trust since we currently calculate mean time between failures of Ripex units to over 160 years. In case you're interested in how to set the unit up for the first time, please continue to our power-up tutorial. You can also watch more advanced tutorials such as point-to-point -point high speed links here on the YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to get notified on our new releases. If you like what you see, get in touch with our sales team on racom.eu. Thank you and have a great day.